Hey you, yeah you who clicked on this video, thanks for giving our channel a shot. And if you will, please do us the honor of watching the video all the way through. Appreciate it. Now on to the video. Hello fellow 8-Bit Heroes. Today you uh, might notice that this is the second video that I am using my uh, VTuber avatar. And that is, there's a reason for that. Number one, your boy is looking mad scruffy right now. So, you know, while I'm tightening up, you know, the, the beard, you know, the mustache, all of that stuff, tightening up the dreads, getting the retwist, can't be having y'all out here seeing me bummy. So, you know, this is what y'all get for right now. I mean, it'll either be this or it'll be uh, just, you know, no video whatsoever until you know, I get all my physical tightened up. But now that uh, we got that out of the way, let's get into this. So everybody should be well aware of the Jonathan Major situation at the moment. OK, so basically we got the verdict uh, before Christmas of last year because it's now 2024. And here's the thing, guys. Um, so I need y'all to understand something and to my uh to my subscribers that are not used to me talking like this first of all you might not have been paying attention but here's the thing jonathan major should have showed you something especially if you're a black man especially if you live in a city like new york should have told you something new york city has a black mayor new york city has a black district attorney and none of them niggas decided to do right by this man. This man was accused of domestic violence and um, harassment. And he was found guilty of all the felony charges, the ones that actually made it to trial. He was found guilty of two misdemeanors because he accidentally hurt this woman's finger, Grace Jabari, hurt her finger while trying to escape her assault. So for those of you keeping score, and again, anybody that's been watching this channel for a long time, y'all know I don't like to throw racism where it doesn't belong. But I need y'all to understand something. This was a message. This was a message to all of us. Men in particular, black men specifically, you understand me. They want you to understand no matter what your station is in life. You could be rich, poor, you could be the garbage man, you could be the president, you could be whoever. If a little white girl says that you did something, they will find a way, especially, especially in these large cities that claim to love you so much, these large cities that claim that they care about you, these large companies like Disney, who swear to God they care about diversity and inclusion, they don't care about you. And the fact of the matter is that Jonathan Majors took an L so that we would learn, okay? Because this man did everything in his power to get away from this woman. And what happened? They still charged him. They had no case. There was testimony. There is body cam footage of literal detectives coaching this woman in order to game the system. And nobody cared. So y'all need to understand something. And oh, and, and don't let me even get started on the so-called quote unquote community. What community? Don't talk to me about the black community because the black community wrote this man off for the most part. Now there's some of us like myself and many others, shout out to Chillmonger, okay? That were, that, that understood the assignment, that knew what was going down. And then there's black folks like D.A. Alvin Bragg, the head coon in charge. I don't even like to use that word, but in this case it applies. Sometimes it be your own people. This man went out of his way to try and uh, defame Jonathan Majors. And he did so. Then there's the media. The media who 
put in their articles, not that so many uh, charges were dismissed, not that he was not uh, found guilty on any felony count, but they needed to make sure that he that his conviction on misdemeanor charges was the first thing you saw in the headline. So you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that this nigga was guilty of something. And then there's the fans and again, the community. Where were you? Y'all stand up, march, hoot and holler and burn shit down for everything else. But when a innocent man came up, y'all were nowhere to be found. In fact, you were on the side of his accuser, even though it was a fact, even before the trial started, that she was in fact the aggressor. She was in fact the abuser and nobody cared. What does that tell us, fellas? We're on our own. Disney. A company that has been in decline, they did Jonathan Majors a favor. You think firing Jonathan Majors from a role in a sinking ship in a sinking franchise means anything? By the way, there will be a video about Disney and their failing franchises, but we're not even gonna go there right now. They did this man a favor. You think he really needs on his resume of sink of a role like Kang the Conqueror where basically it's diminishing returns you think they because they wouldn't hesitate by the way they've already been doing it but they wouldn't hesitate to put these failures on jonathan major's head i guarantee you of that let let the kang dynasty have come out and underperformed suddenly it would have been jonathan major's fault you see what i'm saying this is why i keep telling you guys about this tokenism about these race swaps because when they do well they want to try to say it was because of the race swap but see, more often than not, they fail. And when they fail, they blame it on the star themselves and their lack of ability to carry a film when that's not the case. The case is that most of the fans didn't want a race swap tokenized uh, Panderverse style character to begin with. And Jonathan Majors doesn't need that in his career. I, for my part, I'm gonna continue to support that man. You know his appeal is gonna come up to misdemeanor charges, please. And Alvin Bragg, you know you a disgrace. I don't even want to call you brother. Because you literally showed your ass on this one. You show where you were at. I don't believe in all this, you know, white supremacy is, is responsible for everything. And this really, to me, is the proof. Because who was, who was the puppet? Who was the puppet master? Who had the hand up your ass, Alvin Bragg, telling you what to do when it came to this? Who was it? This damn sure we don't know. But we do know that you went out of your way to crucify this young brother. Out of your way, you should be ashamed of yourself. I hope nothing but the best for Jonathan Majors. Congratulations to him on his new relationship with Miss Megan Good. I hope everything turns out well for them. And for all of you people that are still, especially a part of the quote unquote community, that are still um, trying to defame him, still trying to throw dirt on his name, shame on you because this was nothing but media manipulation to try to put us in our place. It wasn't about Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors will be all right. But what's going to happen when you get accused of something, black man or man in general? What's going to happen when you get accused of something knowing that you didn't do it? They had every piece of evidence that one could imagine. They had DNA. They had eyewitness testimony. They had video evidence. And still, nothing could stop this fascist New York regime from doing what they did to this man. So y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section, whether you think that we went too hard for Jonathan Majors, whether you think we didn't go hard enough for Jonathan Majors, or whether you think that the Jonathan Majors situation has no bearing on you as a regular citizen. Sound off in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. 8-Bit Heroes out. Peace. Want to give a big shout out to Meister Geek Media, Chillmonger, Get This Work, Fernando Lopez Jr., Lynn Art 8721, Bogdan Zaharis, Charlie Brown, Tito 199X, Charles Bentecourt, Sword and Dove, This Guy, Action Paction, Crystal Gonzalez, Dominic Sokup, Weds, Jezebels, Kevin Jones, Reckless 3KGT. Appreciate all of you guys and welcome to the 8 Bit Heroes family. If you'd like to get a shout out on the channel, then hit that like button, maybe share it with a couple of friends and do us the biggest honor of all. 
and subscribe to the channel so you can join the 8-Bit Heroes family. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when our new videos come out.